What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12.1.3 and iOS 12.1.4 jailbreak. A new exploit for Sandbox Escape has been released. So just a few hours ago the account Simo in here posted quote Power the exploit Sandbox Escape to root for Apple iOS up to iOS 12.1.4 so basically below 12.2 on A11 devices and lower. So this is not compatible with the A12 devices which are the newest ones like the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR but it's completely compatible with other devices like the iPhone 8, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 7 and so on. Now the uh, SSD advisory also posted this article in here which basically describes the way the um, exploit works and the vulnerability. So they say quote SSD advisory iOS power the Mac message reply to Sandbox Escape and privilege escalation. Now, as I said, this works on iOS 12.1.3 and iOS 12.1.4. However, you should keep in mind that this is not available for the iOS 12.2. And just a few hours ago, Apple stopped signing the iOS 12.1.4 altogether. Now, if you go ahead here on the IPSW.me, you can see that only iOS 12.2 is supported. However, iOS 12.2 does patch this in here. So if you want to find the uh, code for this, this is available on GitHub hub as well. You go in here and you can download the entire code base. This is the exploit itself and you can see that it's actually a pretty complicated one because it messes with IOKit, with Mac messages and so on and you have to have a proper foundation on how this works before you can get started with analyzing the code and so on. It also uses ROP so this is not going to work on A12 devices. This is the first exploit that we have for iOS 12.1.3 and iOS 12.1.4 which is basically usable in a jailbreak. I actually messed a little bit with it a few hours ago and I got it running perfectly fine on my iPhone 7 and even on my iPod Touch 6th generation which is actually a 4K device so it does support 4K. Now during my analysis it did not require a paid developer account in order to compile it so that is actually very good and I managed to test it all the way down to iOS 11 so yeah definitely a very interesting one. Now you're going to ask me what is a sandbox escape and what can we do with it. Now a sandbox escape would allow us to basically read and write to anywhere in the system and if we combine it with a remount we can even write to the system partition which is actually pretty good but that would involve a kernel exploit. However things can be done with a sandbox escape and a privilege escalation. For example Falza would definitely be updatable and we can create something like Falza escaped or GeoFalza which is my version if we basically trigger a sandbox escape with this in here and we escalate our privileges to root. Now that may not be very very useful since we do not have a remount but you would have access to the files. Now this is only one of the things that can be done with this exploit in here which is definitely a very interesting one and the vulnerability seems to be pretty interesting too. So yeah this is the first exploit that we have for a jailbreak on iOS 12.1.3 and 12.1.4. It doesn't work on 12.2 and as I said Apple stopped signing the iOS 12.1.4 today so do not update your device. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.